Okay, here we are at the entrance to Tulik Field Station. Um, if you pan south, that's the Brooks Range. We crossed that on the Dalton Highway to get here. I'll zoom in so you can see those mountains. Kind of see them there. Snow capped. We zoom back out. Sorry, this camera's loud. And pan north. You can see Tulik Field Station there. And then that is Tulik Lake where a lot of the research at this station is conducted. Here's the truck we drove up on, and uh, having driven on the Dalton Highway for nine plus hours, you can see it's got a nice glaze of dirt. This is the entrance to the station office and dining hall area. I'll take you in there right now. Just walking into the dining hall area. This is where we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. Some boards over there with cool things that are happening each day and uh, wildlife that's been seen. There's another one over there. You can see over here I'm, I'm official. I've actually made the board of people. This is the Corey Kling Crump Group and there is my awkward Polaroid. Heading in here, one of the cool things they introduced me to is everybody gets their own cup and they gave me a cup and then they give you a label maker and you label it. So here is my cup. Same spot every day, D-Walk. And I've used it thrice so far. So this is the dining facility. They have quite a few bikes around camp, uh, both cruisers and mountain bikes that you can use to get from building to building, which is nice. Here's my home for the next month, Weatherport 3 Inn. Uh, kind of see the environment where I'm located. Kind of stuck over here, uh, away from the other weather ports. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but uh, go inside this thing and take a look around. Here's what the inside of a weather port looks like. Uh, you can see uh, it's really nice. I got a nice thick mattress, uh, a nice desk. This is where I do most of my posts in the evening time. Lots of spots to store my stuff. And uh, currently no roommate, so living in a single. These towers are where all the bathroom business gets done around camp. Interesting locking mechanism on these bathrooms. Uh, this can very easily do that. And that's what happened to me last night. About two in the morning, I came out here uh, relatively sleepy uh, and managed to lock myself right in this here. And uh, had to climb out that little window there, uh, which was a very eventful uh, experience for me. Uh, my first night here at Tulip Field Station. This building here is called the Community Center, and lots goes on in here. I'll show you around in the next couple shots. Along with a foosball table, uh, this room uh, is where weekly presentations are uh, held. Um, a lot of the principal investigators and graduate students here uh, present weekly about their research to the community. Um, typically those happen on Tuesdays. The general use library with all different types of books. I've been specifically focusing over here on the uh, Arctic Far North section, which got some pretty cool reads. Um, and believe it or not, over here, a uh, variety of musical instruments. Um, on Saturdays, uh, a lot of people around here are pretty talented, and uh, a lot of times they play. And of course, no community center tour would be complete without showing you the movie theater. Um, this is pretty impressive. Show me this yesterday. It's a weather port that has in it a ping pong table and uh, a movie theater. Um, one of the most robust collection of VHS tapes I have seen. In fact, everything in here is VHS. So pretty good times. Be kind and rewind. Uh, and they'll also show uh, different things. I think they had a Game of Thrones marathon in here a couple weeks ago. Um, so pretty fun spot uh, for things to do uh, on the weekends. 
So here we're on the back porch of the community center, looking out across the Arctic tundra toward the Brooks Range. Panning across here, you can see that there's a network of boardwalks. And these boardwalks run all the way out onto the tundra, and they're used by the terrestrial research teams uh, to get to their study sites. So a lot of times they'll go out in the morning, walk all the way out there. You can see it goes pretty far. Uh, and then sometimes you won't see them until the evening time when they return back to camp. This guy here is the sauna, and I'm not kidding. Uh, let me explain to you how this works. So you can see it's wood powered, and this is one of the main ways by which we clean ourselves here. Um, you walk down there, take a jump in the water, rinse off, and then you come back and dry off in the sauna. Show you the inside here. More wood, soaps and such, lots of towels. And here's the sauna. Pretty nice place. Attached to the sauna is the shower. Uh, what you do, take a look in here. You go fill up that Home Depot bucket, bring it back. There's an on-off spigot, and you take your shower. So, really water efficient here. It's a pretty cool spot, so I'll probably be here at least twice a week for the month of June. This hangar houses a pretty robust wood shop, which folks use to build uh, lots of things around camp. Here's the inside, and you can see lots going on in here. They're actually building a new series of dorms, so I think they're assembling a lot of stuff in here for those. This is the dry lab where a lot of our work is going to be conducted over the next couple of months. Um, I'll take you on a tour inside. It's, it's incredible the amount of equipment that's in this place. This is inside the dry lab. I'll take you on a walk through it. Um, it's pretty amazing the amount of equipment they have gotten up here to the far north. Um, tons of stuff. Lots of fridges. I was particularly impressed to see that in here there's actually a gas chromatograph um, with a helium tank outside. There's a fluorometer over there, We're currently in setup mode here. In the corner that is Natasha, she's a graduate student in Byron Crump's lab at Oregon State University. Fume hood over here pretty amazing space so I'll show you some footage of this in a couple days once everything gets set up and uh, the lab experiments get underway but this is the typical layout of a lab space here at Tulik Field Station. Immediately outside the lab there's um, one of the really local uh, study plots uh, here on the Arctic Tundra. Um, this boardwalk, which we constructed this morning, is uh, going to be used to expose uh, water from different Arctic streams and lakes uh, to the sun. Here's an aerial photo in the dining hall that I think will help you out with an aerial perspective. That way is the Dalton Highway where we came in. We drove down here, took a left. This is the entranceway and helipad. The, uh, photo I took at the entranceway is up here. Then come down. This is where I am right now in the main office and dining hall. You pop over here. This is where the dry lab is. That's where a lot of our indoor work is done. Way down here is the sauna that I showed you earlier. Popping back up. You can see lots of other stuff. Community center, there's that deck where I was, all these boardwalks running off into the Arctic tundra for the terrestrial research. So lots of cool stuff here at Tulik Field Station. It's an amazing place, and I'm really gonna enjoy 
spending the next month here learning as much as I can about Arctic field research.